Hello my friends, my name is Forge and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to convert any of your worlds to any edition of Minecraft you want. I'm going to show you how to convert to Console Edition, Bedrock Edition, and Java Edition. And to accomplish this, we're going to be using a program called the Universal Minecraft Tool, created by Oprise LP. The World Converter will support several different platforms, including Java, Bedrock, 360, PS3, and Wii U. And the best part is, if you convert a world to Bedrock, then you can put that world on Realms and transfer it to your One, your Series X, PS5, or even Nintendo Switch. But let's say I want to convert a 360 world. But however, there is another program and it's called Horizon. This tool is required to be able to convert your 360 world. Because there is a certain file that you need and the only way to get that file is through this program. And don't you worry, it is completely safe. I have been using this program for many years with no issues. But go ahead and click on free download and then it will start to download the setup. And once that's done, go ahead and click on it and then click install. Go ahead and click on yes and then it will install your program. And there you go, it's now done. So very, very simple. And then click launch. Once you got your 360 world, go ahead and drag it onto the program and then open this up. Then next up, go to contents, then locate save game .dat. Go ahead and right click and click extract and save this somewhere onto your computer. The next step is to convert the world. So we're going to choose 360 and we're going to choose the file we extracted which is savegame.dat. Right click on there and next up we can choose on where you want to convert it to. We're going to convert this to bedrock. And another cool thing about this is you can output it to a different version. So let's say you don't want it outputting to 1.19.20 and you want to convert it to 1.16. Then it's going to go in that world format. But if you were to select the latest version, then you would get the extended underground. But we're going to select next. And next up, we resolve some options. Now let's say you want to convert a certain dimension. Well, you would toggle one of these options. You have the overworld, the nether, or the end. So let's say you want only the nether. Well, you would deactivate overworld in the end. And the only dimension that would convert over would be the nether dimension. But however, if you don't care about the nether or the end, we can just leave overworld on. And that would be the only thing to convert. This is very, very important. We have tile entities and entities. Tile entities is like chests, item frames, paintings, that kind of stuff. But whatever entities is more like the ones that move. This would be more like cows, pigs, zombies, like alive creatures. And then we have ticks. They mean like daylight cycles, weather cycles, crop growth, that kind of stuff. And then we have our game mode. Do you want to be in survival mode, creative, or adventure? And the same thing goes for difficulty. You want to be on peaceful, easy, normal, or hard. Or you can just choose no change. And then we have skip partially generated chunks. This is referring to the chunks that are at the edges of your world that partially generate. Like they generate just a little bit, but not completely. And next up is allow older chunk versions. Now, according to this, this will allow chunks to convert to versions older than the output version. And that will reduce terrain generation issues. Next up is our depth fixer. Now this is a very important feature. So let's say you're converting over a world that was made after Kids Glitz release, where you may have the extended underground. Well, if you were to convert this world to an older version, so like let's say 1.14, then this is going to be very important. If you choose Clip Plus Bedrock, then this will remove any blocks that you have below zero, and it's going to add a layer of bedrock. But if you were to just choose Clip, then any blocks below Y0 would end up getting removed and there would not be a bedrock layer. But however, if you were to choose raised, then that's going to move the world up by 64 blocks. But then we have new world center. This will change where the new center of your world is. So normally it would be 0, 0. But if you want to spawn in a certain set of coordinates, then you can input your coordinates in the X and Z areas. Let's go ahead and click on next. In this conversion process, it is definitely quite quick. And that's what I love about this. No matter how big your world is or how small your world is, it's always going to be a fast conversion, which I really do love. But we're going to select save world and it should automatically open up where all of your bedrock worlds are. And we're going to keep it as the same name and we're going to click save. And our world has not been saved. And here we are back in Minecraft and if I click play and I were to scroll down, then you will see our converted map. Now this is a map I built years ago, way back when the last Friday came out, but as far as I can see, everything has converted properly, which is a really big deal. Because whenever it comes to a lot of converters, sometimes they don't really work all that great. Like back when I used MCC 12 chest, the conversions, they weren't all that great. Because there would be some things missing, some things wouldn't work properly. But with this new program, you won't have to worry about any of those issues, which is really, really good. But now I'm going to show you how to convert a bedrock world over to the consoles. We're going to begin with 360. 
So let's choose Bedrock. We're going to choose The Last Jedi. I'm going to choose Open World. And then we're going to choose 360 to begin with. I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to keep the same options. And start conversion. And yet again, we have a fairly quick conversion. Yet again, very, very awesome. And when you click Save World, then you will get a save game dot that. Then next up, you need to transfer the world to 360. So make sure you have a USB installed. And if you have anything on the USB, it should show up over here. And within the USB, you need to put your 360 profile and your Minecraft game. And you should see a game section. Once you click on that section, then it's going to say Minecraft. Then all of your saves will be in that area. Then afterwards, select your world. Then you need to go over to contents. Then right click on save game dot that. Click on replace. And locate the file you converted. Which we have right here. And it's now been replaced. Just click OK. And save for how to resign. Then that world will be playable on 360. In order to convert console worlds however. All you really need is a single files. Like save game dot that for 360. Game data for PS3. Or dot Wii for Wii U. And then you can convert them to the other platforms. And that's going to do it for Bedrock and Console Worlds. But next up, let's go over Java. So let's select Java. And we have Survival Island Extreme. But let's click on here. And then let's use our platform. Which is being Bedrock. And then let's click Next. Keep Save Settings. And Start Conversion. And once that's done, let's go ahead and save the world. And wherever your Bedrock worlds are. It will save in that area. We're going to keep it the same name and our world has not been saved. And here we are back in Bedrock Condition and once I click play, then we should see our world right here. Survival Island Extreme. And that's how you convert Java to Bedrock, but now let's do Bedrock to Java. So let's select Bedrock. We're going to choose My Converted World. And then we're going to select Java. Click Next. Keep all the same options. And to start the conversion. And once it's done, let's click Save World. And it should open up where your Java saves are. Let's go ahead and click on save and our world is now saved. And here we are in Java edition and once I click single player then our world is right here. But however there is a very important thing to do. So click on the edit button on your world and then you have optimized world. It's recommended to optimize your worlds before you load them up. Just so you don't run into any performance issues. And yes I know what I'm doing. And our world has not been optimized and once you go into the world then you shouldn't have any performance issues. That is how to convert any of your worlds to any edition of Minecraft you want. And with the universal Minecraft tool, you can take them with you no matter which device that you love playing on. Rather it still be console edition, or it be Java edition, or even Bedrock edition, your worlds will never be left behind. If you guys want to see a full breakdown over this tool, then there will be a link in the description and as well as the end screen, where I go over every aspect of this tool and even Oprah has joined us to give us some insight on how the tool works. But if you guys want to get this tool, then there will be a link in the description as well. If you guys enjoyed today's video or found it interesting, then consider leaving a like on today's video, subscribe if you're on here, and don't forget to turn on notifications. But for now, hope you have a logical day, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye!